Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Trinkax. So today we are going to be diving into the world of electronics. Well, a little bit. We're going to be like putting our toe into uh, the world of electronics. We are going to be making some pressure plates or pressure pads, I think they are called in this game yet. Pressure pads. Uh, because we don't really have that much silicium. So we're going to do what we can. And for the pressure plates, we are going to make doors because we actually have no doors in this house whatsoever. Whatsoever. I actually don't know if I've made a door at all this season. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe on the very, very first little box house that I made way on the other side of the world. I might have put doors on that. I don't remember. But let's go ahead and get started on the doors. I think I want to make the tough wood doors, which would be maybe in the woodworkers thing i don't know some of these categories don't make any sense nope apparently not would it be in this i don't think so i think that's just furniture would it just be in here possibly oh there it is the tough wood door so we need some iron bars some wood boards and some nails doable so another thing that i want to do today though is i would like to work on the little portal room into lilith and what do we need here we need this bench here and we need to make some boards i don't know how many doors i'm gonna need for this let's see here uh how many boards does it need for each so each door you need five you only get one door from each crafteroo uh let's start out with Mm, we'll start out with 28 boards we'll see how much that makes us and then let's go ahead and make some iron bars as well but for the Lilith portal room I think I have everything that I need to make the portal room now there we are still missing some bridges and I'm actually not sure if Lilith even has like Bime's specific bridges at all because i went into creative and the only bridges that i could find that i hadn't seen before were called slutch bridges and i think it was slutch i just remember when i looked at the word i thought it said slut but then there was like a t in there somewhere so i think they're slutch or silge i don't know it was a weird name those were the only bridges that i had not noticed or seen before so maybe those are from lilith i'm not entirely sure so we have our doors done now we have seven of them which hopefully will be enough for us today and now let's get into making the pressure pad which i believe we need to make some transistors for yeah we need to make copper wire and we actually need more boards now and uh, so to make these transistors, we're going to need some more copper, which how do you make the copper? I think, yeah, it's just bars. Uh -huh. So let's go ahead. We'll grab our bars. We actually have one gold bar, which is all we need, I think. And then I actually need to find where uh -huh. I put my silicium. I think I put uh -huh. it in one of these chests. I'm honestly not sure. Apparently not. Uh -huh. Maybe it was one of the, oh, right there. One of these chests. So let's see here. Do we have everything? We just need the boards now, right? Yep, which we will make. So let's go ahead and our little machine is actually up here. So let's go ahead and get some copper wiring made. So the good thing about electronics is that when you do craft something, it gives you so many. Like it gives you a hundred copper wire and that'll last you a decent amount of time. And uh, unless you're doing something huge. So what else do we need for the red transistor? So we actually have everything. We'll go ahead and make one set. This will give us 50 of these, which is crazy. So we have 50 of these and then we just need the boards for the pressure plate, right? Yep, so let's go ahead, go on down, make some more boards. Uh, these will give you five each and we need three boards for each set. And we have seven doors. That would be 14 pressure plates if we wanted to put two, or like one on each side of the door. So that would be like three sets, which would be three, six, nine boards. Nine sets of boards? Just nine boards? I don't think that's right. We'll go with it. We'll see if my math is correct. I don't know. Math sometimes fails me. And go ahead and get this stuff on the side. Especially doing math, you know, something simple like that. It's super easy to do in your head, but then when you're trying to like keep things rolling, it's not as easy. But I did it. Success. 15 boards or 15 pressure plates. So let's go ahead and see where we can put doors. The issue that I'm having is that all my doorways, I kind of put torches in. Because since putting in this roof up here, 
it's gotten real dark in my house and so i've kind of put lights everywhere and i kind of want to test this can you put pressure plates where like a plant is no you can't and what about where this is you can't do that either i wonder let's try getting rid of this for a second can you put this here and then put this back i don't yeah you can't do that well that's rather unfortunate and real annoying can you let's put this back can you put pressure plates in front of these no because that will just activate it i wonder you probably can't do it the other way around that's really annoying i'm not gonna be able to actually use oop low battery i'm actually not gonna be able to use any of these now i'm realizing we can put the doors in but i have we can use them on the outside and that's pretty much it we can use them on this door just because we're missing one mannequin but pretty much everywhere else we have stuff just inside our door if it's like a pillar or some sort of something where are our doors here they are so yay electronics so much fun so advanced so technological oh my god exciting okay let's move on let's go ahead and just throw down some more doors while we're here um oh it's so dark though why you gotta be so dark I think I'm gonna have to redo the lighting in this house and just kind of mess around with it because it is it makes it so much darker and I think it's also because in this last update and we're not even gonna be able to put a door over here because there's a bridge in the way in this last update uh, I don't want to put doors everywhere that's gonna be annoying let's put we'll put a door there and is there another note there's no entrance or leaving area there what about on this bridge over here? Uh, in this last update though, a lot of stuff has become darker and I don't really like it. I do, but I don't. I don't know. Uh, and we won't put any doors through here. I thought this was a two wide gap, but or a one wide gap, but it's a two wide gap. Uh, I'm gonna leave these torches and obviously I can't put a door there because of the bridge, which hopefully won't be there for too much longer. Once they come out with patch, which they will hopefully do. And to be honest, I'm probably just going to leave all these doors open anyways because I am lazy. And we ended up only using two of our pressure plates because uh, we kind of failed. I didn't think about the fact that, and we can get rid of these boards. I didn't think about the fact that I just wouldn't be able to put the pressure plates down. And we'll just, just, throw, stuff and just throw it under the carpet. Just fine. Just don't don't look at it it's fine i'll find it later don't even worry about it don't look okay so we're gonna move on now to the portal room over here we still need to do zeno which we should be doing zeno first but i didn't really gather that much stuff from zeno biomes so i don't really have much of anything to put in here i think i might have a couple pillars but i'm kind of i want to get bridges I actually might have bridges. I think bridges might be the only thing that I have from Zeno, actually. Uh, and then I talked about the bridges from Lilith already. So let's see here. Let's go ahead. Let's get rid of these blocks in the background. Because I don't have bridges, I won't change out the wood bridges at the top. Uh, I'm not hitting the portal piece. And apparently, I de-dyed my wood there. There we go. Fix that. And uh, I no longer have an axe because I got rid of it when I was mining so that way I could free up a slot so let's go ahead and just slap together another one real quick there we go and get rid of these back blocks we are gonna have to remove the um, the bridges up here briefly though just so I can get rid of the light because I think the light that we got from Lilith is a chandelier so hopefully we'll be able to put that up there and then also, of course, I need to get rid of these back blocks. Where's my shovel? The oh, I just threw my shovel. <laughs> there we go. Good thing I have two because I'm prepared. Okay, so we have a blank canvas now. And what we are going to do is I need to keep in mind what blocks are going to be showing and which ones aren't. So I think I'm going to put block here, here, here. And then put two of these in the corner maybe? And then we can also do maybe one of those for the background. I actually, ooh, let's do one of one of these blocks in the background. A little cooler looking. And we can go ahead and put that back now. 
I actually might need to get rid of it if I want to put in bridges. I'm going to use these limestone bridges for today since I don't have any bridges from them and things are a little bit more white themed from Lilith just because it's like the moon. So uh, let's see here. So we will check out the light that we got. I'm not sure if it's a chandelier. It was a chandelier when I broke it. I'm assuming it's not a chandelier now. And it's not even a light because it is, <laughs> you need two of them to use the light. Well, that's great. That's uh, fantastic. Good, good job, good job. How did we only get one then? It was a light when I got it and I'm just breaking, de-dying everything. Okay, re-dye that stuff. Okay, so we are down quite a few things now. We will leave those wood bridges there and we're gonna need to get rid of this and this because I forgot to put the bridges in first, which I'm pretty sure you need to put the bridges in first. Maybe you actually don't need to. Well, I did, there we go. And then we will use pillars here. And do I have different pillars? I thought I had different pillars. I guess I don't. And we will go ahead, maybe put those there, put these there. And then uh, I will probably actually end up changing out this pillar for a light. Maybe, can you uh, go away? Can you not exist? Thank you. And uh, we will, uh, I'm gonna leave a pillar there for now, but hopefully we can pick up another one of these lights so that way it, it won't just be a stick. This is so disappointing. You stick are disappointing. Why, why do I need a pick for this or will a hammer work? I can use a pick, there we go. So we will just use these pillars for now. And uh, it's uh, kind of dumb looking, but you know what? We will go with it. And I don't have enough limestone bridges to replace the wood bridges, but I may eventually do that. Let's go look at the other portal rooms because I don't remember what they look like at all. I remember, oh, hi, Sky. I remember not liking the little Seth one. Yeah. And the Thetis one is all right. I like the light being there. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Let's sleep a do and it's actually nighttime, so we're actually able to sleep. Nice. And I actually don't really have anything else to do now, so I think what we're gonna do... Ooh, should I use those? I might do those. Hold on, let's get over there real quick. I wanna try out these. They don't really match anything else. But everything else is just, I don't, I don't, I don't know, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out, we're gonna see what happens. And do I like it, do I not like it? We're gonna keep it though. We're gonna keep it, it's a nice little accent color. Everything needs an accent color. If you make everything too matchy matchy, then it's boring. And I actually do not have any place to really put these at all. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just stuff these in here somewhere. And then I think we are going to go mine in Zeno and cross our fingers that maybe we can find some like bridges or something over there because that would be cool. And I also need to make some more tools. So I'm going to go real quick. I'm going to figure out my tool situation, make sure my inventory is all clear and everything, and then I will be right back. Alrighty, I have been mining for a little while and I finally came across- Oh, ooh, a dueler, ooh. I have come across this biome that has dual biome chests in it, both material keys, which is really, really good. Uh, but I was hoping that there would be some pillars in here and it does not seem that there is. That is rather disappointing and this is a really small biome. However, Something else that I want to point out is that when I was looking for a biome, I zoomed out and noticed that there is a glowing chest down there. Now, I've updated now, and there shouldn't be any more glowing chests, but somehow there is. I don't know if maybe this is because the world was generated and there are still glowing chests, or if this is a bug, or if chests still... Oh, no. No. <laughs> or chests... And my capture card just disconnected. Woo! Okay, I don't know what I was talking about, but boom, we got another portal piece. I think I was talking about if it was like a bug or a glitch or what. I don't know, but I found one even though I really don't need this portal piece. <laughs> Lilith, ah, uh, okay. But let's see here. I mean, there's bridge. Is there another one over there? 
Oh my god, there is another- Oh, there's two over there. There's one in the middle, and then there's one down a little bit further. What the hey? And in the lava in between- Or not the lava, the acid in between actually looks like there's a chest or two. I think I'm gonna head over there. Um, this biome was kind of disappointing. There is bridges. Which I think I will grab. I'm pretty sure I already have some of these, but I will grab them anyways, just in case. And I don't think you can pick these up. I don't think this does anything. You can get those from it, um, but I think that's it. Oh yeah, and the uh, tools and things that I made, I went ahead and made some antanium because we have more antanium than mithril. So I just went ahead and made some pickaxes and shovels in that as well as swords. So. We will be using Antanium for as long as we can. Hopefully we will start finding some more Titanium soon. I kind of need to just do a little bit of ore mining on my own, I think. Just so that way I don't feel rushed. I don't feel rushed because I'm recording. But I'm going to mark these. Um, the, the diagonal mine is like way over to the right. So I don't know that I'll be able to find this, but... I don't know. I want to open these up, but I also really don't want to have to go all the way back to the surface to get mithril keys. I might do it. I don't know. If I remember, I will. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go to the left and check out that portal, the portal pieces, as well as the lava, and I will be right back. Alrighty, I have gotten to the first portal chest, and it is another Lilith piece, but now looking further, there's actually another portal chest right next to that one, and I'm thinking one of the chests in the acid is another portal chest. So, even if they're all Lilith, I still really want to check them out and see if they are Lilith, because I thought in Zeno you could get portal pieces like other portal pieces, not just Lilith portal pieces. Um, but maybe it's changed. Yeah, there definitely is one. So there are so many portal chests in this area. It's ridiculous. Uh, get out of here. I don't need you. And this one actually looks like a magmar. Oh, that's right. You can get magmar. I think we can go to magmar now. I wasn't- this was not even in the intention <laughs> on mining today. I wanted to get biome items i don't need chest pieces right now but hey if we can go to zeno that's cool whatever i did a bad thing get out of here there we go get rid of that uh let's continue on down let's check out this other portal piece down here but i think lilith maybe lilith and magma are the only two places you can get portal pieces to in here here's another lilith one uh, pick that up and how many do we have now we can go to Lilith again cool and there's actually a biome further down uh, If we go straight down, it looks like there's another ice biome So let's check that out real quick get out of here weird scary spider thing So we're gonna check out this biome and then uh, I might hit the other portal pieces like I said, I'm thinking that Magmar and Lilith are the only places that you can get to from Zeno here So I don't think there's really much point looking at them and I don't think that there are pillars. Uh, oops, I did not mean to break those. I don't know that there are. Okay, I'm just going to click out. I don't know that there are pillars for this ice biome anyways. I will grab the diamonds though. I don't know that I even have diamonds yet. I do have an achievement to uh, get all of the gems or one of all the gems. So maybe we can do that now? I don't really know. I don't know which ones I have and which ones I don't. Let's get a little string maybe? Yeah, string always comes in handy. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else. I think there's another portal chest over here though. I'm just gonna check it out real quick since it's right here. And then I will get on over to the other area. There he is! There's a freaking another portal chest over here. This is ridiculous. I guess when I'm not planning on looking for portal chests, that's when I find them all. Get out of there, worm. There we go. And I think this is another Lilith one. It's looking like it. And it's another Lilith one. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna get over to that other one. And I think even if I do find another one from there, I'm just gonna skip it and I'm just gonna get back to the surface. Cause I think this might be going long now. I don't, I don't really know at this point. I'm gonna get over there and I will be right back. 
Alrighty, I went on over and I picked up that portal chest and it was another magma. So I kind of, it would obviously be a Lilith or magma. So it wasn't that exciting. And then uh, I ran into this. So let's go ahead and pick some of this stuff up. I'm not sure what I have and what I don't have. So we're just gonna kind of pick everything up. I think at this point, the only thing I need is half slabs. And I know I just passed mithril, but that's okay. I don't really mind passing it uh and let's just pick up these and then i think we will be good to go do okay i'm good on hearts we will pick this stuff up kill these guys get on over here kill a scorpion i need to remember i have more health now i played for a really long time being scared of everything because like everything could one shot me but now i've got a little bit more health going on and i can be a wee bit more confident with killing mobs and I need to stop being a wimp about everything. Go ahead and pick this one up. And then I think we're good to go. I wonder if you, when you replace these pillars, if they give off the purple glow still. That would be really nice if they did. But I'm going to get it back up onto the surface now. And then I'll wrap up this episode. Alrighty, we are back in our home and I think it's safe to say that trip was actually pretty successful. I mean, we got a bunch of portal pieces that we really didn't need and uh, we also got the pieces we need, I think. I think this is all I need. I got some bridges, I got some pillars. I don't think that I have... My phone just died. <laughs> I forgot that I had 10% battery. And my phone just died. Oh no. Okay, well, it was successful. Even though my phone died, hopefully that stuff's still there. Hopefully. I think it should be. But that's gonna be it. Uh, I'm gonna charge my phone now. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go now. I'm not even gonna try to get back. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Trin Trick X. Woo, just imagine I'm jumping up and down. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And thank you. Goodbye.